Hi Libra, welcome to your May love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we are going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together. Whatever your situation is, you do have to at least know each other and believe there is a connection there of some kind. So we'll see what the energies are for you. Uh, Libra. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus, male or female watching. This could also be past, present, or future. Energies can be interchangeable. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit or uh, leave me negative comments. I will delete them. So please only take it how it resonates for you, Libra. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe at this time and healthy. So Libra, let's see what we have for Libra. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So if you're new to my channel, I'm going to pull a Zodiac card. We could get a sign, element, or planet. And then this is a new deck for me. It's the Journey of Love. I just got this one. So I'll pull an opening love energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. And then I'll pull one for you, one for them, how you're both feeling about each other in the connection. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at the actual situation, advice for it, possible outcome. And then we'll get extra messages at the end with that Oracle deck. Of course, I go over all the bottoms of the deck also. So hopefully uh, this resonates for you, uh, Libra. So let's get a Zodiac card. Get a sign, element, or a planet. Let's we'll see what comes out here for Libra, please. Spirit, thank you so much. Libra, Sun, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is a general collective reading, not a private reading. So please keep that in mind. For Libra at this time. One card. Oh, that's two. All right, I guess we'll take that one. We have Saturn. So this is the energy of Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, if not totally fine, or it could be Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their chart, if you know their chart at all. But Saturn does represent Capricorn. Capricorn does represent the devil in the tarot. But the energy of Saturn is ambition, goals, uh, security, lessons, and challenges. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. Because the devil does uh, can talk about um, addictions, obsessions, uh, negative energy, negative thinking, um, a very strong, like lustful connection. Also, so I don't know. We'll see how this plays in to your reading. All right. For Libra. Everything you need to know, Libra, is down below in the description box. Uh, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. Please feel free to check it out. And if you're new to my channel, you can check it out. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe and all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. We get about five readings a month, actually. So let's see, Libra. Let's get an opening love energy between you and your person, whoever you are thinking about at this time. For this reading, Spirit, please, thank you so much. What is the opening energy for Libra and their connection at this time in love for the General Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Libra? That one. And we have the Bride Offers Herself, and we have 43, which is 7, which is a divinely guided spiritual number. So somebody definitely offered something here. Uh, doesn't necessarily know it says bride, but it doesn't have to be it can be male or female So somebody you or your personally person here definitely offered something to the other at one point in time All right, so Libra I'm gonna put you here your person here and I'll pull one for each how you're feeling about each other in the connection But if any time throughout this reading you feel like the energies need to be switched or changed Please feel free to do that. Okay, we got one here Towering Magnificence, and we have 30 here, which is three. So this is your energy. Let's get one for your person. I feel like that one. And we have Heaven, which is seven, which is a divinely guided spiritual number. So we got seven, seven, and then we have three. So I feel like here, uh, you Libra with Towering Magnificence, this is sort of like, um, kind of looks like a mountain but it's something that stands tall, it's sturdy, it's grounded, it's magnificent, it's stable, it's strong, um, and grounded. So you may see your person in that energy, 
but your person here has heaven so they feel like you're they are heaven on earth wow so they may be uh, very spiritual or religious or something like that with seven in heaven definitely here uh, they could be spiritual or connected in some way uh, in that form so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have shifting universes seven again which is again that spiritually uh, divine number so to me with this sh um, shifting universes could be there's distance between the two of you uh, somebody could be trans trans just if I could speak transitioning from something in their life to something else or you know this is just shifting like to the next level it's like a whole new world now with this person than what it was previously uh, you know, their world, your world, you know, now everything's different. Everything's shifting, uh, coming together probably here. Wow. All right. But we could do have, um, could be some sort of challenges though here with that Saturn energy. If they're not, if they're not a Capricorn. Um, You know, it's all about ambition, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So there could be a challenge here. Saturn is 19, which equals 10, which 10s are about completions, but then one is always a new beginning. And you, Libra, is 7. 7, 7, 7. That's four sevens. So it's a very divinely guided spiritual energy here. So you may want to look up the angel number 7, 77, 777. Um, I don't think they go as high as four sevens but uh all right so let's see here for you libra you have well we got the queen of wands here so this is um aries energy but it doesn't have to be so you know and you are an air sign so you could have fire in your chart if not this is just a very fiery passionate um energy go-getter kind of energy so you may be in that energy right now and this can be male or female or you see your person in that energy okay let's get another one for libra and the king of swords wow so <laughs> we have like a couple bam right off the bat here it's not a matching couple but we do have the king of swords so this is gemini so <clears throat> and I see the mountain, like the clouds there, mountains in the background, and I have all that, that energy up here. So I feel like you see yourself with them as a couple. You may be different in some ways, um, but it's kind of like you get each other. You may not be a perfect match, but you're a match. But, you know, the King of Swords is having truth, clarity, um, you know, Cutting away things, no longer serving, standing up, not backing down kind of energy. Wow. So we have a king and a queen here. Wow. Okay. So let's see here for your person, heaven, for your person. It's like you see each other as a couple, as like almost like a power couple, but because um, we do have towering magnificence. So you see each other together as something like really like something special magnificent all right so let's get heaven here for your person how is libra's person feeling about them at this time wow so we got the three pentacles and you we have three here under your energy and now it's coming up in their energy so could be teamwork, collaboration, working together, or you could have worked with them at one point, but they're really wanting to, you know, pentacles are very stable, grounded, long-term energy, dedicated, trustworthy. So they really want to put in the effort here, work together with you in this connection because they want to give you something stable and uh, grounded here for the long-term. This could be an offer, commitment, marriage, proposal, here with the Ace of Pentacles for the long term. Stability, growth, expansion. They're very sincere, honest, trustworthy for some of you if this resonates uh, and want something here for the long term. And you definitely see that with them. 
even though we may be different or have differences or whatever here, it, they're still like a very strong couple here. Wow, okay. So, let's see, Libra. For you, for those who are watching, uh, maybe your Libra is maybe your rising sign or your moon sign or your Venus sign. Maybe your sun sign is a fire sign for some of you. All right, so let's get the actual, I just saw the devil, actual situation here for Libra and this love connection. Oh, we got five and that's what I wanted. So now look at all the kings here. Four, I don't think you're dealing <laughs> with three people, but uh, some of you could be, have a, you know, have a choice here between three people because now we have, Cups, Pentacles, Swords. Wow. So the Fool so wanted to jump right in, take a leap of faith, have a fresh start, new start, trusting everything will be fine with your lover here. So you definitely see them as your soulmate, your lover, your person. You definitely want to take this leap of faith with them. And right in the middle is the King of Pentacles. And I said that they're offering a lot of uh, Pentacle energy here. And here's an offer in their hand. Here's an offer right here. For a new beginning, for long-term stability. This could be a marriage proposal for some, or engagement, or so, a long-term commitment, or something. Something here. Because they do have love here with the King of Cups energy. So now we have um, Aquarius, Gemini. Again, the King of Pentacles is Virgo, and then the King of Cups is Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Now we have Leo with the Sun. So, yeah, they definitely do have love and emotions and feelings for you. And they definitely see long-term success, growth, expansion, healing, success, victory, happy home and family, enlightenment. Wow. They have definitely have love, stability. You see them all, could see them also as very someone who's trustworthy, uh, honest, They could work um, in law enforcement or in uh, the legal field too, also with that sword energy, or they have at some point, or uh, military. But yeah, I, you see them as, we got three kings here. So one more king and we have the emperor, basically. So the situation is here, an offer is being uh, given and it's being accepted. And we're jumping in here into soulmate union, possible twin flame union with the sun to happiness and joy in every single way. Wow. So let's get advice. Well, we got the moon energy here. So this could be very deep feelings. It could be secrets. Um, being scared of the path because it's not totally clear yet. Or needing to listen to intuition. Or it could be fear. So let's see where this is going with the moon. Why is the moon here for your advice? What is the moon here for? The eight of pentacles. So putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work. A lot of pentacle energy here, which is a good sign. Maybe slow, a little bit slow moving, but that's okay. All right. There's the offer again with the page of pentacles. Okay, I think I'm getting the message here. So let's get one more. Let's get one more. In the Knight of Pentacles. Are you kidding me right now, Libra? So I feel like your advice is if you fear that if this hasn't come yet and you're fearing it's not coming because it's taking so long with all this pentacle energy, but you know the connection's here. Um, maybe it's been an ongoing connection here for years months or years or whatever here and it hasn't leveled up yet and you're worried with the moon having that fear and that worry and that doubt not seeing the path clearly you know I'm just working maybe just working on you you know working or doing whatever you're doing and you're worrying about is this offer going to come is this communication going to come is this action going to be taken with this offer because look the offers there the offers here but then the king is right in the middle with the offer there the offers there oh my gosh Libra I don't think you have to worry or have fear. Just do whatever you're doing. Keep doing you or working on this connection or whatever here. And the offer's coming for the long term. Offer is coming. If it hasn't come already, 
All right, so what is a possible outcome here for you, Libra? Libra. I don't know what that um, Saturn energy is. Um, I don't know. You could be just dealing with a Capricorn. I mean, that is uh, Earth energy. We have all this Earth energy here. So we have Tower. Maybe a, a surprise. <laughs> Maybe you're like, okay, it's just never going to come. And it may be in a, sh a shock or a surprise, or this is the change coming in in this connection. It is more communication with the Page of Wands. Fiery, passionate communication. Good news coming in. What else here for Libra? The High Priestess. <sighs> so here with the Knight of Pentacles, we have Taurus. This is Pisces here. We have Pisces again. The Tower is Aries. If I say the name of the person you're dealing with, the sign, that's fine. If not, don't get too caught up. So the High Priestess here is about listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. It's also about keeping things to yourself, uh, not talking a lot or keeping secrets. I don't know, maybe for some reason, you know, the good news comes in. It's a shock. It's a surprise for you. But you may not tell anyone or your outcome is here. Maybe not telling anyone. Maybe you guys won't tell anyone. I don't know why here. So why would you keep this to yourselves and not tell anyone? Why is the high priestess here for your possible outcome? The star. So this is divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, wish dreams coming true, healing energy, a fast. Maybe this is... Uh, unexpected and um, if it's not if it hasn't been a slow moving connection maybe they are heavy earth sign here there could be an earth sign and maybe this uh, comes as a shock or surprise because it's so sudden and so fast because the eight of wands is very um, fast travel action communication being divinely guided and led to do that somebody's listening to their uh, intuition here and it may be yeah, about Ace of Cups here. Brand new beginning in love. Love, emotions overflowing to the Ten of Cups. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. So, yeah, I feel like maybe a shock to everybody. Maybe, you know, they're just a heavy earth sign and this proposal or leveling up or whatever here is really sudden for some of you. And you're fearing what other people will think because it's happening so quickly. But we have the ace to the ten of cups. We have the sun. We have the fool. We have the lovers. The ace of pentacles here. So we got two divinely brain new beginnings. We've got the brain new beginning in love and emotions overflowing. Fulfillment in every single way. With this uh, stable, sturdy foundation for the long term. Wow. Okay. So... And that could be that shifting universe is, is everything shifting very quickly, perhaps. So now we have the devil. I was just going to clarify that. And now we have the devil. All right. So why is that here? Nine of cups. So again, wishes and dreams coming true. Happiness and joy. <laughs> Ace of wands. <laughs> Oh my God, um, Libra. Very fiery, passionate, uh, new beginning, exciting. Three aces here. The Ten of Cups, the Star, Divinely Guide. Wow. Could be a very fiery, passionate connection between the two of you, but I, especially with the Devil there, very strong bond and connection. It's shifting, I feel, very quickly here. And we have your energy at the bottom with Justice here. So... Your energy at the bottom with justice. The devil over here is that Capricorn energy. So I feel like justice in this situation, truth, balance, four of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, holding on to one another, not wanting to let each other go because of what? Commitment, marriage, proposals, long term here. So. Eight of Cups and the Two of Wands. So the Eight of Cups is about walking away, but walking to something better. 
and the two of wands is at a crossroads. So I feel like, I feel like that people may tell you this is too sudden, too quick, and they may tell you, you know, I don't think you should do this. So that's that energy of walking away. So it may feel, may put you at a crossroads, like, oh, I don't know what I should do here. Should I not take this offer? But now we have the Ten of Pentacles. So happy home and family, uh, family dynamic, legacy, children, um, sharing everything, grandchildren, everything here. So yeah, you're going to be indecisive. Maybe, you know, should I turn my back on this or run from it? It's too quick. It's too soon. But we do have soulmate union here with the Two of Cups energy. So I do see... Uh, <laughs> offer coming in and it could could be for some of you moving quickly and too fast and you're worried about what other people may think so you may not tell every, anyone with that high priestess energy but we have all this energy here Libra wow it's definitely soulmate divinely guided soulmate energy ten of pentacles ten of cups two of cups energy uh this is Taurus with the hierophant that's your energy Libra wow wow Libra so I thought at first maybe this was just a connection moving very slowly, but I think for some of you it's happening. I'm getting like over maybe months, like maybe even three or four months for some of you. Um, wow. Okay. Or three to seven months. And it's like now all of a sudden you're engaged and you're like afraid to tell anyone because of what they may think. All right. So... And that could be that, you know, Saturn energy. It's a challenge right now. You don't know what to do. All right, let's get some extra messages for you here, Libra. And this connection. Connection moving very fast, very quickly. These two. <coughs> Sorry need a drink so we do have grounding here six about healing and balance and we have soul name we have one as a brand new beginning you may be actually changing your name to your soulmate's name you see the heart lit up there wow and we have grounding again we had all this earth energy here <coughs> sorry so i definitely feel like it's shifting and this is grounding <laughs> This is like grounding, setting the seed and planting it and grounding and grounding and planting that foundation for the long term. Very strong bond connection here planted between the two of you. And you may actually be changing your name to your soulmate's name. That's kind of what I'm getting to that. All right, let's see what's on the bottom. And then we have soul tree. I can't make this <laughs> 21, three. And we start over here with you. You had three three about working together people coming together so we have grounding and i talked about the tree and then we have a soul tree wow and soul name definite soulmate here uh libra wow okay libra uh best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light